Hello and welcome to Vidhra Ambed channel and also welcome you to the series of video tutorials on getting started with Ria Atlas kernel. So in this tutorial that is uh, tutorial number 3, so we are going to see what are the TI large pads that we are going to use throughout this course and also the, some of the tools that are required to work with the uh, TI Atlas kernel and the TI launch pads. So let's get started. So coming to TI launch pads, so we are going to use these two launch pads. So one is a MSP432 launch pad which is based on MSP432 P401R uh, which is having a uh, ARM Cortex M4 uh, microcontroller. So basically this board supports the uh, simple link SDK provided by the um, TA that is a Textas Instruments. So whereas uh, I am also going to use the another board that is a Tiva C Launchpad which is based on TM4C123GXL which is also a uh, ARM Cortex M4 board but it doesn't support the um, the simple link SDK provided by the TI. So there is another way uh, we need to uh, port the TI atlas into this port. So I will explain all these things. So that is the reason why I took uh, one uh, TI port which is based on uh, simple link SDK and other board uh, which doesn't support the simple link SDK. Uh, coming to tools installation. Uh, so what are the tools that we required in order to work with the TI atlas kernel? So first thing is the Code Composer Studio which is basically IDE, we need to download the latest version and then install into your uh, PC and then for MSP432 we need to download the simple link MSP432 P4 SDK and for um, Tivasi board we need to use the TI Atas for Tivasi uh, and then uh, we should also download and install the XTC tools uh, in order to work with the TI Atas and then here search for the Code Composer Studio I can click for the download. Now click on this link. So it will uh, take you to the Code Composer Studio downloads. Okay. So scroll down. Uh, and here you can see here uh, the current uh, release and the latest version of a Code Composer Studio is 11.1.0. So he, here you can see here download a single file offline uh, or uh, on demand web installers. Okay. So I will click on this link which will also support the Windows 11 and uh, keep a note uh, this version only supports the 64-bit uh, version of Windows. Suppose if you want to download the 32-bit uh, version of Windows so you will find something like this you can see here you can see here so Windows 32-bit is not supported uh, starting with CCS version 9 so you need to download uh, the CCS version uh, 8.3.1 if you are having a 32-bit version okay so i'm using a 64-bit version so i will click on this and then it will take you through to the another page so which is basically a ti page and here uh, we need to download the one which is relevant for our uh, uh, OS. so i'm using a windows so i'm going to download this windows single file installer for ccs id so now we can see here it is start downloading and it is around 1.1 gb so wait for the uh, download to complete. So my download is complete. So I will go to the folder location where it is downloaded. So I will extract here. Okay, now it is extracted. So I will go to the uh, main folder. So uh, we need to click this uh, .exe file to install the Code Composer Story. So before we install the Code Composer Story, it is always recommended to turn off your uh, antivirus. So now I have uh, turned off the uh, my McAfee uh, antivirus. Okay, so it is recommended by the TA. We should do that. Otherwise, uh, Code Composer Studio itself will uh, uh, pop up an option and it will not going to install the Code Composer Studio. So now I will go to the CCS install folder here. I will double click on this to install the IDE. So click on next and accept the uh, license agreement so it is asking me to uh, reboot the pc okay you can see here uh, there is a pending reboot so please reboot your machine before continuing okay okay now i have restarted my pc and uh, okay now i have restarted my pc and also disable the antivirus so i will click on again so set up file and then click on next accept the license agreement and click on next and now this time it is showing uh, everything is okay next to install the 
CCS. So by default, it will take the C uh, slash TI slash CCS 11.20 version and then click on next. So it will choose the two options. One is the full installation and the other one is the custom installation. So custom installation is the recommended one. So click on next again. And here uh, we need to select the um, list of uh, options that we want to install. So currently we are focusing on uh, two uh, TI launchpads. So one is the MSV 432, another one is the TYC launchpad. Okay. So click on this. That is a simple link uh, MSV 432 low power plus performance MCUs. And then also click on the TM4C12X ARM Cortex M4F core based MCUs. Okay. So these are the two required packages that we require now. Okay. And then click on next. And then here it is asking for uh, uh, drivers installation or the debug probes. So better to uh, check this uh, Sager J link also. Okay. And then click on next. And then please note the following debug probes are uh, probes and the boards with the onboard debug probes are not supported. Okay. These are the not supported uh, debug probes. Okay. And then click on next. And then click on next. So now we can see here the installation is started. So wait for the installation to complete. So the, now the installation is complete and it is asking me to uh, reboot the PC again. So now uh, it is asking to create the desktop. So make sure you uh, click on this checkbox and then click on finish. So now we have successfully installed the Code Compose Studio, which is the latest version. And then now the next step is to install the simple link MSV 432 P4 SDK and then search for simple link and then click on this first link and then scroll down. So here you can see here uh, software development kit uh, basically SDK. So simple link MSV 432 SDK and so click on download options here. And then if you come down, you will be able to see the uh, the simple link MSV 432 P4 SDK for both Windows, Mac and Linux. So I'm using a Windows installer. So I will click on this link. So now it is downloading, okay, which is around 232 MB. So wait for the download to complete. Double click to install it. Click on S. So click on next and click on next and then click on next so wait for the installation to complete so now the msp 432 p4 sdk is installed successfully click on finish and it opens the quick starter guide for the simple link msp 432 p4 sdk so if you want you can go through this okay the next step is to install the tr task for tfc and also the xdc tools uh, which are uh, required for the TIR task for TFC. Okay. Okay. Now open the browser and search for the TIR task. Click on here and then here go to downloads and click on here to download options. And here you will find the TIR task for all the uh, boards that are provided by the TA. So basically for the MSP430, suppose if you are using for MSP430, uh, so TWC, CC13XX or C326XX and CC3200. So for these devices, so you need to download from here. Okay, so currently we are uh, focusing on TWC that is uh, based on the TM4C. So here you can see, uh, so currently the 2.1601.14, which was released on 22nd April 2016. Uh, so where um, we have the TRTAS as support, okay. So click on the Windows. Uh, if you are using a Linux machine, you can also click on the uh, the corresponding uh, software for your uh, machine. So let's click on the Windows. Please wait until the download completes. Now download is complete. Double click to install it. Click on S. And click on next accept the agreement and by default it will choose the uh, ta installation folder 
so the product contains the uh, tr tas uh, for tvasi and the version is 216 and it will also install the xtc tools uh, version of 332 okay so this version is required for the uh, tr tas uh, for the tvasi microcontrollers okay so click on next and then click on next wait for the installation to complete okay now the installation is complete click on finish now we have installed all the tools required for the atr tas uh, both for msp432 as well as for the tvasi and also the corresponding xdc tools okay so there is one more thing uh, so we ha since we have installed all these tools right so to detect this uh, tools like a simple link msp432 stk and as well as the xdc tools uh, open the ti code composer studio and then go to windows go to preferences click on code composer studio click on products and then click on refresh here so it will refresh and then try to uh, detect the all the tools that are installed in the ti folder so here you see it is uh, detected like in a simple link msp432 stk and uh, also tia tas for safety was something like that okay so and also the corresponding xdc tools okay that's all click on apply and then apply and close so that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe to my channel 